How's it going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under. Today, we're hitting the NBL Cup, but we ain't doing it on the camera, we're doing it on the phone. Is this thing on? So a bit of a different commute to the game. Normally, you know, you take the train, but you know, because of the virus, can't get the train, gotta get in the car. NBL Cup is absolutely insane. 10 bucks to see two games. It's ridiculous. Today, we've got Casper Ware and the Sydney Kings versus Bryce Cotton and the Perth Wildcats. First game up. Two of the best point guards in the league. Gonna be absolutely crazy. Second game going on, we got South East Melbourne with Kiefer Sykes, who I reckon is the best player in the NBL, and my boy Mitch Creek, taking on the young gun, Josh Giddy, who's been on an absolute tear for the Adelaide 36ers. It's gonna be an insane game. first quarter but got here the second half been an absolute banger of a game bryce cotton is an absolute bucket we're in for a good game here it's going to be a good one tune in the crazy thing about this game is there's probably less than 500 people here in a stadium that holds about eight grand so this is absolutely insane you can hear everything the players are saying it's just amazing everyone's watching me in the crowd they all better be subscribed to the channel everyone's looking at me like i'm absolutely crazy some good sledges are incoming be prepared, guys. It's going to be crazy. How can we forget about Craig Moller, go Checking in. Look at the man. Absolute specimen. That's all because of Moller, baby. Just listen to how quiet he is. You can literally hear the players. Time. Oh. oh yeah! Brad Newley, where are your eyebrows? Cotton made a charm. Game one went right down to the wire. Bryce Cotton, John Moody going off for 30 each. Game two on the way, Adelaide versus South East Melbourne. It's gonna be a good one. Where is Leangelo Ball? Hey, where is Leangelo Ball? He's meant to be coming. Number three, Leangelo Ball. Oh yeah. Oh, you're a keeper. Oh, you're a keeper. Shoot it! Oh, yeah. Bang! Imagine wasting your money on a white import. What's going on there, bud? Sunday deck, aka Saturday barbecue. Kicks it off. White import. Okay, waste the money. Oh, steal. Whiting for it, waste the money. Here we go. Big man. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, good pass. Oh, yeah. Oh, too good. Ex teammate right there. Good. What is that? Adelaide really need a sub here. They really need to get Jello Ball on, but he's still coming from the US. What a pass. Mitch Creek. Give it off. 
Wet all the pretzel. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. What is this? The crowd of 10 people goes wild. Oh. Need the quick bucket. That was! That's you! Got home from the games and boy was that an absolute cracker. We just got to take a second to talk about the value for money on this NBL Cup business. I was doing the maths of this NBL Cup and it seemed like there was less than 2,000 people, but let's say there was 2,000 people there. 10 bucks a ticket, that's only 20 grand. Can you imagine for a whole game, for a whole competition, they're only making 20 grand. That is not a lot of money. Just something to think about. I was really confused, but hey, great value. Bryce Cotton was really well defended in that first game and John Mooney was just going off for Perth. But then Cotton and Mooney both had 30 each. You don't see that in the NBL too much. Two guys with 30 each. Sydney, they weren't too great. They let a slight comeback, Sydney, but Perth won comfortably by about eight points. And in the second game, South East Melbourne versus Adelaide, that was a really good game. Josh Giddy man he went off he had like three or four threes in the game what an absolute bucket that kid's gonna be ex-teammate of mine and Mitch Creek had four or five from downtown as well the man the myth the legend money Mitch was on fire Adelaide still walked away with the five-point lead over southeast Melbourne which was a bit of a shame anyways guys thank you so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share this with your friends and I'll catch you later